class, we've learned a lot of numbers this year in kindergarten, and we're going to back up now to some of the numbers that we already learned, which is our T numbers. And I am going to show you some more about those numbers. More importantly, how we can represent each of those numbers using six different ways, because you might not realize that you can show a number in more than just one way. We're going to start with this number right here. What number is this? 11, very good, a one and a one is 11. Now one way that I could show you the number 11 is by just writing the number one, one, the number 11. I could also show you 11 using tallies, which is something that you've seen me do during calendar. Tallies come in a group of five and there can't be any more than five in a group. So let me show you what 11 tallies looks like. One, two, three, four, five, the fifth one goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have five, ten, eleven tallies. We could represent the number eleven using a picture. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. Maybe I wanted a picture of 11 happy people, 11 smiling faces. And this is what 11 looks like as a picture. It could be a picture of anything. As long as there's 11, it will represent the number 11. We could represent the number 11 using objects. Right here, I have 11 objects. And you can kind of see what they look like here in my bowl. Let's count them out and see what it looks like when we lay them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is what eleven objects looks like. We could also represent the number 11 using our base 10. Now, I showed you these a long time ago during calendar. Base 10 has got a long, which has got 10 cubes stacked up, okay? It also has just single cubes, which represent the number 1. There is even more that represent 100 or even 1,000, but we're not going to look at those today because we don't need them for 11. So if we were going to represent 11 using the base 10 blocks, we would have one long and then one more cube. So 10 and one more equals 11. The last way I want to show you how to represent the number 11 is by using our 10 frames like we do during calendar. Help me count out 11 for the 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And how many more do we need? Yep, one more is eleven. All right, friends, I just showed you six different ways to represent the number eleven. Make sure you go over to Seesaw and I want you to do your activity so that you can practice this skill.